In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the bar stitch. Really lovely textured stitch. It's a two row repeated pattern once you get past your sort of foundation setup stage and it's actually fairly easy and once you get going you will be flying with this stitch. Because it's a two row repeat and we're working with double crochets, UK terms, um, you get a really lovely back which is nice and flat. So if you wanted to use this for uh, hats where you want the texture on the outside but nice and smooth on the inside, this is the perfect pattern for you. So let's have a look at the tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm using a Stylecraft Aran, I think this is the colourway Rose. I have a 4.5mm crochet hook, you can use any yarn or recommended hook size to go with that yarn that you prefer. I have scissors to cut off my end, needle to sew in my end and a stitch marker just in case I need one. So to start off we're going to need a foundation chain, so we're going to begin with a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. And our foundation chain needs to be made in multiples of three plus three extra at the end as our turning chains. So yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook, that's one chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop two. Yarn over, pull through the loop three. Four, five, six. So I'm going to go up to 21 stitches for my foundation chain. Then I'm going to do an extra three at the end for my turning. So pause the video now whilst you do your foundation chain and I shall see you in a moment. So I have my 21 chains. I'm going to do my three extra now. One, two, three and I'm ready to start doing row one. So for row one then we're going to be working in the second chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook. So one, two and we're going in there with a double crochet. That's UK terminology, in US that's a single crochet. So to do that we insert, yarn over, pull the loop through the chain. You should have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the two loops. I'm going to do the same in the next stitch, so insert, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the two. And we're just going to put one double crochet in each of the chains all the way back down to the start of the chain. So pause the video now whilst you put a double crochet in each of your chains and I shall see you in a moment. So there we are, I've just finished row one of my row of double crochets. So for row two we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. The chain one does not count Therefore we're going to work into that very first stitch there. And we're going in there with another double crochet, so we insert, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. And this row, again, is a double crochet row, so we're going to double crochet into each stitch all the way down. And we're basically just setting up the foundations for the repeated pattern which starts in a couple of rows time. So pause the video now whilst you double crochet into each of your stitches and I shall see you at the end for row three. So there is the end of row two complete. So we have two rows of double crochet and the foundation chain. So for row three then we chain one and we turn our work. Again the chain one does not count. So we're going to put a double crochet in the first chain, uh, the first stitch and in the second stitch. Now our next stitch is going to be a front post treble. So in US that's a front post double. Okay. So we've worked our first two stitches, we're now going to be working into the third one but we're going two rows below, so there's one row and two rows. And we're going to be working into and around this post here. So we've worked our first stitch, we've worked the second stitch, we're now working into this stitch here. 
So to do a front post travel, we yarn over, we insert behind the post and come back out the other side. We yarn over and we pull through. Have three loops on your hook and you might want to just bring them up in line with the top of your work. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now because we've worked that stitch below, we're actually going to be missing the next stitch because it's covered up by the front post treble. So in the next two stitches we're going to put a double crochet, so double crochet, double crochet, and then we're going to work around the post of the next stitch two rows below. Okay, so that belongs to that stitch, that one belongs to that stitch, this one belongs to this stitch. So we're going yarn over, insert around the post and come out the other side. Yarn over and pull the yarn back through. Got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now this is the trickiest row of the whole pattern. When we come to do it next time, you'll see that it's slightly different and you won't have to try and figure out which stitch to work into. So, we've worked into that stitch there, so we're going to skip this one because it's been covered by the front post treble, and we're going to do two double crochets. And we're going to work this way all the way down the row until our last two stitches. So pause the video now whilst you work your two double crochets and then your front post treble around the next one and I shall see you at the end of the row. So pause the video now. So I've just done my last front post treble. I'm going to skip the stitch and then at the end of the row I'm going to put in two double crochets just to finish off that row. And well done, you've made it to the end of the hardest row of the pattern. But you could already see you're getting some nice texture in your work there. So row 4 and row 5 are the repeated rows for the whole pattern. So for row 4 then we chain 1, we turn our work. Uh, the chain 1 doesn't count so we're working into that very first stitch with a double crochet. And a double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way back down the row. So it's a nice easy return row to make sure that all of our front post double crochets are, sorry, front post trebles are on the same side. So we're just going to double crochet all the way down this row. So pause the video whilst you do your row of double crochets and I shall see you for row five. So there's the end of row four, I've completed my row of double crochets. So for row five we chain one and we turn our work. Remember the chain one doesn't count. So we're going to work into the first two stitches with double crochets, so that's one and two. Now we come to do our front post treble. Instead of trying to count down how many rows, we're going to do it around the front post treble from the previous round that we did front post trebles. So we yarn over, insert behind the post of that front post treble, yarn over and pull that loop through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So you'll end up with that being like a line or a bar going all the way up your work. So obviously we've worked the front post treble so we're going to skip that stitch because it's covered by this. And we do two double crochets, so one in the next stitch, one in the next stitch, and then we do a front post treble around the front post treble from row three. Skip that stitch at the back, double crochet, double crochet, front post treble around the front post treble of the previous row, or two rows below, skip the stitch and just work your way back down the row with two double crochets and a front post treble and I will join you just before the end of the row. So pause the video now. So I've just done my last front post treble 
So I skip a stitch and in the last two stitches we're going to finish off with a double crochet in each stitch. So then we go back and we repeat row 4, so we chain 1, turn our work, chain 1 doesn't count, row 4 is the double crochet row all the way down to the end and then when you repeat row 5 you chain 1 turn, double crochet in the first two stitches and then do your front post treble. So now that you're doing your front post treble around the front post treble it really does make it a lot easier to see the stitch that you're going to work around which means this is going to work up super quickly. So I'm going to work up a few more rows for you to see how it looks and I shall see you in a moment. So I've just worked up a few more rows for you to see how it looks and this bar really does look lovely, a nice texture to your fabric. Because our return row is just double crochets, we have a nice flat back so if you wanted to use this on um, a beanie you'd have a nice smooth inside for your hat. It's a really lovely stitch, really really quite a, a tight fabric because we, we're doing mainly double crochets so there aren't too many holes in it. I would be careful still using this for a baby blanket because very tiny fingers could get caught in those little bars um, but yeah it's not too, not too bad for that. So if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it helps the YouTube algorithm do its fancy thing to show it to other crocheters. If you've enjoyed seeing my stitch marker today this is the Wish stitch marker that's not easy to say and um, that's available in my Shopify shop or if you prefer to shop on Etsy then you can find it in my Etsy store. So there'll be a link on here somewhere around here I think um, for you to click on and go straight to my Shopify shop and it will show you exactly where you can buy that. Um, one of the things I wanted to say um, was that the last row, if you're, you're doing a, um, a square or rectangle and you want to finish it off, finish off on a row 4 which is the double crochet row. So you get a nice neat edge that sort of marries up with the bottom and the sides of your work. Don't finish on a, a row 5 because you'll end up um, without such a nice neat edge to your work. So I'm going to pop two more videos on the side of the screen over here to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!